Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Another day, another dollar, and another drama, or another scrubbing we got to do on Married at First Sight, Decision Day. My loves, I have been watching this. I bared through the whole season. I didn't do any recaps because it was quite boring, but I was looking forward to Decision Day, even though, even though I knew the outcome, but I had to stick it out. I had to fuck it out. Now, let's get down to the dirt. Nicole and Chris. Nicole just talks at Chris, not to him. She never stops. I swear she is auditioning being an expert. Can't fool me. I think she's trying, my loves. But I want her to please be quiet, ma'am, and complete the resume. We don't need to hear your pontifications. Ty up Chris in the basement if he stops nodding his head and being a yes man to you. In the meantime, Nicole, prepare for your close-up in the mirror while you prep for your future interview. But poor Chris, you just gonna have to sink in the woodwork and never have a voice again since you said yes to Nicole. But I have to predict that under two years, they will be done, so. But both of them said yes. So in a couple few years, under two, I think they're gonna be done, so. Now, moving on to Eris and Jasmine. I swear that the show needs to take a tip from Married at First Sight UK. They need to show their answers at the same time. Because I know, I know Eris didn't say he was all in this marriage. Don't be brand new, Eris. We are not blind. We all saw you in that coma. You're not going to win any fan points by switching up on us. And don't be mad because Kristen took the first shot and said she's done. And matter of fact, we're all watching you sleepwalk through this entire marriage. We've been done. I wish they were like married at first sight UK when they could just say they're done within the process and have multiple couples in there so they don't, you know, feel as if, okay, we already got dropped one couple. We can't drop another. So all I have to say about Eris is that you're for these streets. You dry buzzard. Now, moving on to Clint and Gina. Dang it, Clint put his whole foot in that suit. And he wore it well, Pierre Cardin, he wore it well. And he was ready to step out of that marriage. Gina lost a good one. But if I am to believe the previews, I think Hank, Hank said, hold up. What does her decision have to do with me? Hank the dog is happily living as a hostage. Then it looks as Clint. Clint has a lineup, so he'll be fine with the chicks. And Gina looks to have the rejected husband of Dominique, which is Max. Okay. So we will see mm, what will come to be. And I don't really know if this is a whole thing that I don't know if he, Hank is a hostage of Clint. It might be a little something to keep us interested because I'd be darn it. I got to watch some more of this show. Darn it. Got to find out if that's real. Move on to Shaq and Kristen. First, how dare Lifetime in on a cliffhanger? We didn't get to hear Shaq answer. And I sure will be a yes, but not before Shaq lists all of the things he needs from his mommy wife. He's going to require her to be pretty like a Stepford wife, to prop him up at work when S hits the fan, and be able to wipe his butt every time he poops his pants. Now, does any woman have the emotional bandwidth to deal with all of Shaq's neediness? He's a bald toddler who wants it his way. Does anyone know why Kristen said yes? I know she probably wants to be a wife, but good Lord. Ugh. And how can they be a power couple when Shaq shows up on DJ looking like the Joker? I couldn't, I mean, call me peach and black because I was taken aback. I mean, really, I couldn't believe he walked out the door that way. And Kristen said he looked good. Oh my goodness. So anyway, my loves, that's my, 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 you know, my review of the decision day on Married at First Sight. Personally, I, you know, initially I thought Nicole and Chris were going to make it for eternity, but I don't feel that way. They will peter out at some point just like all the other couples. And um, yeah, I, that's my take on it. I don't think anyone, even if Kristen, Kristen and Shaq say yes, I don't see it going to fruition either. 
And um, I do think Clint and Gina had a shot if they got kind of a little physical and let down their guards a little bit. I think they could have had something going on. But I think Gina said, screw it. I'm just going to make my, just use this show as promotion. And I knew they were going to say no. They wouldn't even hide it when he sat down on the couch. You like They were talking about, oh, we'll make arrangement for him to see Hank. And I'm like, okay, that's your answer right there. So why you got to drag it out? But anyway, 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 I'm going to end it right here. You guys, subscribe. Drop a line below. Tell me what you think of this. This is kind of a lame old season. I'm quite enjoying uh, Married at First Sight UK. I'm loving that show. Let me guys know what you guys think below in the comment section, as well as hit the notification and uh, so you can continue getting this review. All right, my loves, I'll check you all out on the flip side.